how to use WA Plus extension. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use WA Plus extension. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on WA Plus, you could also use my affiliate link below the description or earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is WA Plus, it is a browser extension and customer relationship management tool designed to enhance the functionality of WhatsApp web, primarily for business and marketing purposes, in which it allows users to manage and automate communication with customers more efficiently by offering features such as bulk messaging, message scheduling, chat backup, and auto replies. And it also offers or includes tools for contact management, chat filtering, and analytics, making it easier to track engagement and streamline customer service. So now to create an account, just click the link in the description or you could also click the sign up button on the top right. However, by navigating the pricing plan, you should be able to see here the plan that they offer. We have here the pre-plan, starter, pro, growth with the corresponding prices and list of features including on each plan right here. We also have here a broad dev integration to choose from, but I'm going to choose the free plan and in order to do that, just simply go back to this page and click install for free button and you will be able to be directed on this chrome web extension or web store and to add to our chrome just click this add to chrome button upon doing so you should be able to see here that it is currently being downloaded or adding to our chrome so all you need to do is to wait for it to load until it will automatically be added or installed in here in our chrome and you should be able to see here on the top right that it is currently being downloaded but basically using this WA Plus allows users to save and manage templates, track message delivery, and organize chats efficiently. And below it will show you some other overview about this extension of WA Plus and also the rating of it with 4.9 over 5 rating which is actually good for this kind of extension. And now after successfully downloading, the symbol click it on the top right and simply pin. And after that, you should be directed on this page. Of whatsapp where all you need to do is to simply scan the qr code in order to start plugging in or signing in your whatsapp account in here since we're going to need that in order to start using this wa plus so you can simply log in into whatsapp web or simply opening your whatsapp phone and scan this qr code that you can see in here and after signing in your whatsapp account you should be able to see the result including on the left side panel all of your chat or messages from other person and by closing this pop-up window, it will show us on the top panel in here some of the options to navigate. We have here a workspace on the top panel. But going back on this page, to start signing up, you can click the sign up button on the top right in order to start creating your own account on WA+, which are also required or needed in order to start navigating it in our WhatsApp web page. And after successfully signing in your account or creating, just go back on this page and start navigating on the top panel the option, including the workspace. By clicking these three dots, you could also mark all red or even export contact from tab and many more. You could also navigate this unread, awaiting reply, needs reply, auto replied, friends, customers, and many more. While on the left side panel, it will show you a variety of options of your WhatsApp. And now by navigating or clicking this workspace, it serves as a centralized area where users can manage and organize their WhatsApp communication and more effectively. And you should be able to see here below the result of your workspace. Moving on at the top panel, you could also navigate this unread to see all of the unread messages, the waiting reply, the message that needs reply, and many more. And by clicking any of the messages, it will show you on the right side panel the details of the contact information including the profile, contact info, name, their birthday, their country, gender, associated tags, and even their company info in here but if you don't have one you can simply add it by clicking this add details right here and in this pop-up window just enter the name position website email and any other details of it and aside from that under the notes section in here by clicking on it you can add more notes depending on your preferences for example i'm just going to enter here sample notes and click the save button to save the changes of the notes but make sure to also log in your wa plus account in here in order to save all of the changes. And aside from that, you could also navigate the plus button on the top panel by clicking this one. You can create a new tab by filling out or first entering here the name of the tab. 
for example, tab one and by clicking the create button, again, you should be able to log in or sign in your account. But let's say I'm going to log in using my Google account in here by clicking on login with Google, you will be directed on the page where you can start signing in or choosing your account of Google in here. And after that, you'll now be able to see here that we have now successfully signed in our WA+. So you should be directed again on the page of WhatsApp in here, integrated with WA+. And you should be able to see here on the right side panel, the list of integration that you could also integrate in here. We have here HubSpot, Salesforce, Zoho CRM, and Google Contacts. You can turn on any of this if you want to integrate and sign in your account in here. But moving on in here, you could also schedule a message by clicking this one and start entering here the message title, the messages, and even enter or schedule the date that you want to send it. You can even send a voicemail and even an image, video, and even file in here to add or send directly to a person. Now aside from that, closing this tab on the right side panel, there's a lot of features that you could also start navigating using WA Plus after signing in in here. But for the feature that offered by WhatsApp Web, you can simply click the plus button on your messages to add more details including here to add media, document, camera, and many more. If you want to have an announcement, just click the broadcast option on the top left corner. And after that, on the right side, just simply fill out the settings, the tags, customize the messages, and even process it directly in here. But make sure to also have other data including the WhatsApp number. But if you want to import the WhatsApp number by clicking this button on the top left corner, you can start adding or uploading your CSV file containing the number. By chatting with non-contacts, you simply click this icon and it will show you that you can enter the chat settings and even send the template that you prefer. So basically, you need to simply fill out the required information. Aside from that, you can navigate this new chat to search for a specific chat or even click the three dots right here to create new group, start messages, select chat, and log out your account. While under these messages, you could also navigate your workspace, some of them read, and even search for your chat history and share it to your friends. Moving on, if you also want to add or even ask a question to chatbot using this WA+, you can do so by navigating on the top right corner this icon AI chatbot. You can enter here a data sources and even settings such as by entering or customizing the chatbot role, language, default reply, and advanced settings in here. And you can even add a preview what it looks like or a sample of it. All you need to do is simply turn on this activate the AI chatbot. While on the top panel of it, you would also navigate to turn on this AI translate and even this automation that you can automate the auto reply, schedule messages, and even broadcast message. And all of that are possible using this WA plus integrated in our WhatsApp account. And aside from that, below here, you could also add a reminder, messages, or schedule below by clicking this one to remind you by entering here the title, the date, and time that you want to be reminded of, and even schedule an event in here. But make sure to sign in your Google account to integrate with Google Calendar. But overall, that is just basically how you can use WA Plus extension. Thank you.